Vitality Netball Super League, London Pulse Extend Winning Run, Surrey Storm Gain Key Victory. London Pulse extend their winning run to five matches, Manchester Thunder and Loughborough Lightning remain unbeaten, key victory for Surrey Storm over. Saracens Mavericks in Rounds 7 and 8 of the Vitality Netball Super League. A look back at Rounds 7 and 8 of the Vitality Netball Super League, with 10 matches played over the course of 4 days as the season continues in. The busy few days of Elite Netball featured everything from 23 and 24 goal victories for Wasps and Thunder, to matches decided by just 2 and 3. Recommended. 1 5th. Indian Wells. Cameron Nori defeats Nikolas Basilashvili. To reach 4th round and continue title defense. Read more. Recommended by. Here we take a look back at some of the key talking points. Pulse continue to show top 4 credentials. On Saturday afternoon, London Pulse beat Surrey Storm 56-50 and in doing so kept Storm to one of their lower goal tallies of the season. Together Funmi Fadoju and Lindsay Keeble, two athletes at differing ends of their careers, worked incredibly hard to shut down Peace Proskovia and limit her impact in the game. Although Proskovia did score 46 of Storm's 50 goals, she also missed 5 attempts, which is an extremely high number for her. Overall, Pulse's 18 deflections and 6 intercepts illustrated clearly their hard work in defense. Pulse then backed up their result against Storm with a 10-goal win over Strathclyde Sirens on Monday evening at the Copper Box Arena. As a result of their continued productivity, Sam Bird's outfit now sit firmly inside the top four, and the head coach knows how important their recent run of victorious has been. Teams have got to come and play really well to beat us now, Bird said. The belief is there within the whole squad and it's really lovely to be able to work with that. In round nine Pulse's belief will be strongly tested though, as they head on the road for the first time since February 11th. The team are traveling to Bellevue to take on Manchester Thunder for the first time this season. Thunder remain unbeaten and produce their eighth victory of the season on Saturday afternoon, a 69-45 result against Leeds Rhinos netball at the Ow Arena. The platform for their triumph was laid by a staggering first quarter. Karen Gregg's team notched up 21 goals to Rhinos 7 and across the course of the match, produced 22 deflections to Rhinos 2. Storm bounce back to beat Mavericks. In round 8, Mickey Austin's Surrey Storm brushed aside their loss to Pulse and became one of the few teams to have beaten Saracens Mavericks this season. Austin's side held a 28-25 lead at halftime and withstood Mavericks reeling them back in during the third quarter, and again, in the final 15 minutes. It became a goal-for-goal -goal contest with 5 minutes go before Storm regained the lead with 90 seconds to play. Proskovia stepped up to deliver the much-needed goal that handed the home team a spot of breathing space. Mavericks were playing without their South African international shooter in Mari Venter. It was a really good game, Austin said after. I thought we were right in that contest the whole way through it. We felt really connected, we had to do. Some soul searching after the Pulse game, where we're performed well in segments. The biggest keyword we took away from that was composure, and the girls brought that to this game. I am really proud we showed strength of character to comb out with a win against a classy Mavericks side. Mixed fortunes for Wasps. Wasps season has largely been a challenging one for them, however, on Friday evening in round 7 they secured their second victory of the season. Rachel Dunn, on account of her 250th league appearance, was instrumental in the team's 60-37 result against Celtic Dragons. Dunn scored 39 of her team's goals, with Mel Mansfield's outfit keeping their error count lower than Dragons over the course of the 60-minute contest at the CBS. On Sunday afternoon, Wasps then suffered a narrow 57-53 defeat at the hands of last year's defending champions Loughborough Lightning. Post-match, head coach Mansfield openly said that she would review the changes she decided to make in their shooting end, but ultimately praised her players. Work and endeavor against the title holders. Lightning's victory over Wasps was their first of two over the course of rounds 7 and 8, with the team following it up on Monday night with their 53-44 result against Team Bath Netball. What's next? 
Round 9 of the Vitality Netball Super League starts on Friday night. Strathclyde Sirens are hosting Celtic Dragons at the Emirates Arena, with the match. Streamed in the Sky Sports YouTube channel at 7.30 p.m. on Friday. On Saturday, Saracens Mavericks match against Leeds Rhinos Netball at 4 p.m. will also be streamed in YouTube. The feature match on Monday Night Netball is between Surrey Storm and Wasps, live on Sky Sports Main Event and Mix at 5 p.m.